Good afternoon, family and friends. Welcome back to the channel. I am here to show you our new chicken um, setup that we have going on. And I just feel that it's extremely ingenious on our part. And I will show you exactly what we were doing. And hopefully maybe somebody out there will um, find it useful. So let's get into it. So first of all, this is our upper garden that we had um, leveled out last year. And we have just not been able to get to uh, getting the ground tilled and worked up um, this year. So what we decided to do is keep that uh, cattle panel trellis that we uh, grew cucumbers up on uh, in its place. And we just simply have one T post on each end and it's tied down there with a uh, zip tie. And we have put over the top a tarp and it's either put on with a zip tie or string. So filming with farm animals, farm animals can be quite the challenge sometimes. Uh, so what I have done here is I took um, like one inch. I don't know what size they are. They've been split multiple times. I put screws on the bottom and they're just um, screws on the bottom a little ways out and they are attached to the cattle panel there. So two boards the same size attached to the cattle panel um, going down at an angle and two on the other side. And so I'm going to shake these and they are extremely strong. And then I screwed two uh, little logs to those boards and I just screwed them up underneath like that. I hope you can see. And those are the roosts and in our area, we, we haven't had any predator problems, so it's a complete open, open covered hoop house. We only have eight chickens and one rooster, and they use the one nesting box that I made out of a tote. I do have a video for that. It's super easy. Um, I have a feeder that I just give them two, two quarts of feed every day. And it's not fancy saucer for a plant. And I put some screws into it directly into a board and I've got it lifted up. And we use buckets of water. Uh, normally I have a red bucket, but today I have this bucket here. And that's how we uh, keep our chickens. It's really super simple. And my goal is to have them clear out this section. Uh, I still need to pull some weeds that they're not going to eat. Chickens won't eat something that's bad for them if it's in the true form of a plant, the plant form. So we knocked down some of the whistle, thistles and we still have some foxglove in here. But before that, we had already planted the peas and they're doing amazing. So we cleared out this little area and put some T posts in and uh, some chicken wire so they can't get in there. And then we put some boards around the bottom and they are gonna be in here probably all summer uh, and into the fall. So this is going to be an awesome big area for them to hang out in and I will show you in a further video what we're going to do to the other uh, chicken coop that they were in and I'm super excited to get that video out uh, that will hopefully be here coming up soon. And I know I've been needing to get out a garden tour. The garden's doing amazing. And we have some more projects that we are working on. And it's 
been a full month since that last video came out. So um, I have some more videos I want to talk about my favorite breed of chicken. And so if you find this video helpful, would you please like, subscribe, and share? And I'll see you on the next video. Love you all. Bye-bye.